Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity today that our brother and sister gather here in order to study your word. Right now, we are praying for your Holy Spirit to inspire us, lead us into the truth, guide us so that we don't go in our own wills, but by your will, Father. So today, I am very grateful to you that you opened the way for the brother and sister to come here in order to understand your word, especially the parables and all of the very important truth that today you will give us. So right now we invite you to be with us now and you are the head of this section. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ, your son. Amen. 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 Yeah. Okay, so today, thank you very much. Before we start the section, um, I have a suggestion. Um, whatever background you are, like you from Baptist, you from uh, Catholic, or whatever Sunday school, because uh, the truth w we are going to share is very awakening. Mm -hmm. And um, I will encourage you to use your own Bible. And when you read the verse, let the Holy Spirit inspire you for the understanding he wants you to understand. Mm -hmm. I will take out all of the label in my hand. Before mm -hmm. anyone teach me, I will take it out. Right. We don't share the Bible verse because we believe the Holy Spirit will make us to understand correctly. Got it. Right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, this restaurant named John 17.3. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, please open John uh, 17.3. <laughs> I actually have it. <laughs> yeah, and everybody uh, free to talk. You can share the micro with me if you want. <laughs> okay? <laughs> or with your sister right there. So, uh, who opened it first, please uh, read it out loud. John 17.3? Yeah, John 17.3. I have it. Now, this yes, is sir. eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, in Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Right. This is the prayer of Jesus Christ as a high priest. Mm -hmm. He was praying for who? Do you know? If you go back to the first verse of chapter 17, Jesus slip up. And he pray, right? Yeah. Heavenly Father, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you look at this very verse, how many persons do you see? John 17, 3. Let's say two. Two, right? Mm -hmm. One is a God, and the other one is a Jesus Christ. Correct. Two, definitely, right? Do you see the same? Mm -hmm. That's cool. You see the same? Two, on, right? No objection. <laughs> okay. That's good. Now, come to extend the question. We know the name of the Son of God is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the name of the Father? In verse, uh, in verse 1, he calls him Father. Yeah, the name of the Father is not here. I know it. But in general, I ask you a general question. Do you know the name of the Father? General question. Jehovah? You remember that name? Jehovah. Yeah. Yeah. Or um, um, if you pronounce in Greek, it's called Jehovah. If you pronounce in Hebrew, it's called Yahweh. 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 Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yahweh or Jehovah is the same, right? So now my question is that Jehovah and Jesus is one God or two gods? One God. One God. One God. What might you think that's the one God but carry two names? Two different names, right? And before we come to the answer, what is the meaning of Jehovah and what is the meaning of Jesus? The meaning of the name, do you know that? In the church, <laughs> they have not explained it yet? Okay. Jehovah means self-existing mm -hmm. and last forever. Mm -hmm. right. Yesterday, today, and future. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. 
And Jesus means Jehovah safe. Like a gift of Jehovah. Okay. That's the meaning of Jesus' name. Jehovah safe. Okay? 